just after a hit and run near campus last month, the university is working to ensure pedestrian safety on crosswalks and on the Bronx Trail by adding a bike and hike trail. Bed La Cortez with the details. In the last four months, university police have reported at least two auto pedestrian accidents. According to university police reports, a student was struck by a vehicle in mid-June and sustained minor injuries. A second incident in September, police say a cyclist was struck by a vehicle near campus by three UTRGV football players. Now, UTRGV's environmental health, safety and risk management has revealed a hike and bike trail to keep everyone safe. We're building a hike and bike trail that, that goes outside most of the buildings it, it's connecting it makes a big loop all the way around campus and so that's going to be the dedicated space for bikes and for scooters. Interim Director of Environmental Health Safety and Risk Management Matthew Monkis explains what the university has done so far to ensure pedestrian safety. We've identified uh, things that we can do uh, regarding uh, increasing visibility for the students, increasing uh, awareness of where the crosswalks are, increasing uh, police patrolling so that uh, there's nobody speeding on that road. In the On the Edinburgh campus, uh, we've repainted several of the crosswalks to make it very clear that that's where students need to cross. University Police Community Engagement Officer Marco Huerta speaks on how its department is planning to increase police presence and increase advertisement on pedestrian safety awareness. We do uh, campus safety at least two times a month via Zoom and uh, People are more than welcome to 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 come on and come on the uh, on the presentation through the UTR degree training portal. They can sign up. Our administration um, has uh, asked all officers to make sure they're vigilant, uh, especially on all uh, breezeways, uh, crosswalks, and and uh, any other areas where heavy pedestrian traffic is at. Assistant Chief of Police Esmeralda Guerra warns if students use transportation devices on the Bronx Trail. University police may begin giving referrals and citations. If it becomes a problem that the same student is continuing to violate that policy, then we will proceed with a dim referral to student rights and re responsibilities, or we can proceed with uh, contacting parking and transportation uh, to issue a citation for the policy violation. A few reminders for cyclists. Do not use bicycles, scooters, or skateboards on the Bronx Trail. Be sure to ride near the curb, traveling in the same direction as traffic. And to make sure your bike has a light in the front and a red light in the back when cycling at night. Here are other safety reminders for pedestrians to keep in mind. Do not use your cell phone, earbuds, or any device that will distract you from focusing on your surroundings. Look both ways before crossing. Monka says the bike and hike trail is expected to be completed by the end of this year. If you're interested in being part of the campus safety training Zoom meetings, visit utrgv.edu slash ehsrm. For KVQ-TV in Edinburgh, Perla Cortez.